हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ कोमल वालदे फ्रॉम आर कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट अहमदनगर सो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ काक्रोच इन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ द काक्रोच द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट द माउथ पार्ट्स एलिमेंट्री कैनाल एंड द पेयर ऑफ सलाइवरी क्लैन so we are going to discuss that alimentary canal and salivary glands and the mouth parts the alimentary canal of the cockroach is long means 6 to 7 cm tube of the different diameters and having two openings the alimentary canal of the cockroach having the two openings and this alimentary canal is divi uh, divisible into three region that is the four gut mid gut and the hind gut there is uh, these three regions are included in the digestive system of the cockroach so first we are discussed about the mouth of the digestive uh, mouth part of the cockroach the mouth or the preoral chamber is a narrow space bounded by the mouth part the hypopharynx is present at the center of the mouth as well as salivary duct opens at the base of that hypopharynx and the mouth opens into the foregut the foregut is the first divisible part of the cockroach in which it included pharynx oesophagus crop and gizzard the foregut is also called as the stomat uh, stomatacium uh, sorry sorry stomatium and it consists of the pharynx oesophagus crop and the gizzard the pharynx is very short narrow but the muscular tube and it contain the taste sensory the pharynx contain taste uh, sensory and the pharynx is leads into the oesophagus the pharynx is leads into the oesophagus pharynx lead into the oesophagus the oesophagus is slightly long and the narrow tube it opens into crop gizzard the oesophagus is open into crop and crop is the large pear shaped sac pear shaped sac like organ and it temporarily store the food and then it is sent to the gizzard the gizzard is small spherical organ and internally it is provided with a circlet of the six chitinous teeth in the gizzard there is the presence of six chitinous teeth and backwardly directed the bristles means backwardly there are the uh, backwardly directed bristles are present in the gizzard the teeth are responsible for the crushing the food and the bristles it is also help in the filtering the food as well as four guts ends with the gizzard it is the section of the gizzard in which six chitinous teeth are present as well as circular muscles and the longitudinal groove are also present in the gizzard the gizzard four gut are ends with the gizzard and it is continued to the mid gut the digestive can uh, alimentary canal having the second part or second division that is the mid gut the mid gut consists of the stomach and hepatic cavity the stomach and hepatic cavity are present in the mid gut again the stomach is straight short and narrow the stomach of the cockroach is straight short and the narrow it is lined by the glandular epithelium the stomach are internally lined by the glandular epithelium which secrete the digestive enzyme as well as stomach is mainly responsible for the digestion and the absorption process the hepatic cavity are thin transparent short blind and hollow tubule which also secrete the digestive enzyme and it is also help in the digestion of food along with the uh, stomach the hepatic cavity also take part in the digestion process and it is also uh, form or secrete the digestive enzyme which help in the digestion now the mid gut is continued with the hind gut the hind gut consists hind gut consists the ileum colon and the rectum the hind gut of the cockroach consists the ileum colon and the rectum 
the ileum is very short narrow part of the hind gut and the malpighian tubules open the malpighian tubule uh, tubules are open into the hind gut as well as it is open in the anterior lumen of the ileum near the junction of mid gut with the hind gut the posterior region of the ileum consist the sphincter it contain the sphincter ileum sends nitrogenous waste and undigested food towards the colon towards the colon the colon is long and wider part of the hind gut as well as it sends the waste material towards the rectum it sends the waste material towards the rectum again it reabsorb water from the waste material as well as the rectum is oval or the spindle shaped organ the rectum is the oval and spindle shaped organ which is present at the terminal part of the hind gut it is present at the terminal end of the hind gut which contain the six rectal pads along internal surface for the absorption of water and the rectum opens outside by the anus we know that the anus present on the ventral side of the 10th segment the anus of the cockroach present at the ventral side of the 10th segment and it is the last posterior opening of the digestive system it gives it give out uh, gives out the undigested food or undigested material from the body next in the alimentary canal or in the digestive system the next part of that digestive system of the cockroach is salivary glands the cockroach has a pair of salivary glands we know that there are the pair of salivary glands are present in the cockroach again it secrete the saliva the salivary glands are secrete the saliva each gland consists two glandular lobes each gland consists two glandular lobes as well as these glandular lobes consist receptacle these glandular lo lobes contain uh, consist the receptacle as uh, again these glandular lobes consist of the many irregular shape and the white lobule it form the white lobule and this lobule secrete the saliva these these are the lobule of the receptacle which secrete the saliva and each gland has a salivary duct each gland has salivary duct both ducts unite together and form common salivary duct these both duct are unite together and form a common salivary duct as well as the receptacle of each gland is again thin wall elongated and the sac like structure each uh, each receptacle has a duct and these uh, duct unite to form common reservoir duct again the reservoir duct are form each duct and these each duct form a common reservoir duct that is the reservoir duct which is the unit of both duct it is the common reservoir duct again the both common ducts that means the common salivary duct as well as the common reservoir duct are again unite together and it form a common efferent salivary duct both common salivary duct as well as common reservoir duct are unite together and form a common efferent salivary duct which opens into the hypopharynx this common efferent salivary duct opens at the base of the tongue or base of the hypopharynx now we are moving the last topic of the digestive system that is the food and digestion so student uh, it is the digestive system of the cockroach in which alimentary canal is divided into three parts that is the fore gut mid gut and hind gut and the, there are the salivary glands along with that salivary glands the food and digestion of the cockroach we know that the cockroach is omnivorous animal means it feeds upon the plant as well as it feeds upon the animal material again it has chewing and biting type of the mouth parts that chew the food and push it into the alimentary canal as the 
the food passes through the alimentary canal it is digested and finally undigested food is eliminated from the anus and there is the uh, end of the digestive system of the cockroach here we studied about the detailed structure and the system of the digestive tract or the alimentary canal of the cockroach thank you